In a previous video, we provided a short introduction to real-world data. In this video, we will explore how real-world data can transform in vitro diagnostics, or IVDs. IVDs play a crucial role in healthcare by providing valuable insights into patient health. Before diagnostic tests can be brought to the market, they must undergo rigorous clinical studies to ensure their performance. However, in addition to clinical study data, real-world data is becoming increasingly important in supporting the development of IVDs and tracking their post-market performance. We will explore five distinct ways in which real-world data can be leveraged in the IVD product lifecycle. They are quantifying disease burden and identifying unmet medical needs, selecting clinical study sites, establishing diagnostic reference ranges, assessing IVD performance and clinical utility, and expanding the IVD target patient population. Let's look more closely at each one of these use cases. RWD can be used to quantify the disease burden and identify unmet medical needs of the patients. By analyzing insurance claims data or electronic health records, researchers can gain insights into disease incidence and prevalence, real-life healthcare utilization and patient pathways. This analysis allows us to evaluate the disease burden which could inform the development of new diagnostics. Furthermore, it enables the identification of populations that are not receiving a diagnostic test despite presenting symptoms. This insight can help inform the development of new testing protocols for specific patient groups. RWD can also help identify potential clinical study sites based on patient demographics, disease prevalence, or even diagnostic testing patterns. By using RWD to identify sites that are likely to have a high number of eligible patients, researchers can improve the efficiency of clinical studies and reduce the time it takes to bring new IVDs to market. In addition, RWD can be used to establish and update diagnostic reference ranges. Reference ranges are used to determine whether a patient's test results fall within normal limits or indicate an abnormality. By analyzing lab results across patient populations, researchers can determine the range of test results that are considered normal for specific groups of patients, ensuring that the diagnostic is effective across all populations. Once the IVD is on the market, real-world data can also play a critical role in evaluating both the test performance and clinical utility of the product. By comparing patient IVD results with the true disease status determined through clinical diagnosis or laboratory tests, we can assess the IVD's performance across diverse patient populations. Additionally, real-world data provides a longitudinal overview of the patient journey, allowing us to estimate the utility of the IVD based on long-term patient outcomes. This evidence, encompassing both performance and clinical utility, could then be used to demonstrate the long-term value and benefits of the IVD. Finally, based on the post-market real-world data, we may be able to observe diagnostic results from patients outside of the original target population. Based on this data, we are able to determine whether the IVD is effective for a wider range of patients, or even additional conditions. By leveraging this information, it may be possible to expand the label of the diagnostic test, making it available to more patients and increasing its utility in clinical practice. In summary, real-world data can play a pivotal role in the life cycle of in vitro diagnostics by offering a wealth of longitudinal information among a diverse patient population that yields valuable insights. Leveraging real-world data has the potential to inform internal business decisions, support regulatory submissions, contribute to health economic models, inform payer reimbursement decisions, shape clinical guidelines, and provide input for healthcare policies. By harnessing the power of real-world data, we can continue to enable evidence-based decisions and bring the in vitro diagnostics to the market faster, helping to improve patient care. At Roche, this is just a small portion of how real-world data is driving innovation and improving patient care. To learn more, Take a look at Roche's position paper on real-world data and the other resources available here on this screen, and keep an eye out for another video that discusses the practical application of real-world data in the field of digital health.